And this is a fun question that I'm sure would confuse you if you do not understand the formula very well. Okay, a source is in motion and a listener is stationary. That's important. Let's put that on. Source is in motion. Okay, so in other words, velocity of the source we have. The velocity of the listener is so uh, velocity of the listener is equal to zero, is stationary. If the observed frequency is a hundred and four percent of the emitted frequency, what is the velocity of the source? And they tell us assume the speed of sound. That's the speed of sound. Okay, so with that in mind, let's let's just see our formula is actually the frequency um, observed is equal to C minus the velocity of the listener divided by C minus the velocity of the source times uh, the frequency of the source, okay? But we don't have any frequencies. They're not mentioned yet. All they tell us is that the frequency that is observed, this frequency, so frequency observed is equal to 104 percent. In other words, 104 over a hundred, okay, or just 1.04, I'm going to write it like that, 1,04 of the emitted frequency, okay. So what I hope you can see here is that this part is the percentage. It tells me what percent of the observed frequency um, do we have, and we have 1.04%. Uh, In other words, C minus VL over C minus VS is equal to 1,04. And we know that uh, the velocity of the uh, speed of sound, I mean, is 338. The velocity of the listener, they told us that the listener is stationary, so that's zero. And the velocity here is still 338 minus the velocity of source is what that we, that what we are requiring. What is the velocity of the source? Okay. So this is the unknown in the function. The velocity of the source is equal to 1,04. And now it's a matter of solving this. So um, what we're going to do is multiply both sides with the denominator. 338 minus Vs. Okay. 338 minus Vs. So this side it cancels. On the left hand side we have left 338. Okay, minus 0 is just 0. Uh, sorry, it's just 338 I mean. Here we multiply that in. So we find uh, 1,04 times 338 minus 1,04 Vs. Okay, and if we solve it, in other words, add uh, 1,04 Vs on this side and on that side, 1,04 Vs on this side. Okay, then on this side we have it gone, on that side we have it there and positive. And also subtract the negative 338 on this side and on this side, negative 338. What do we get? Okay, so here we get 1,04 4 Vs is equal to 1,04 times 338 minus 338. Divide both sides with 1,04 Vs, uh, not Vs, just 1,04 to get Vs on its own. 1,04 and there we have our equation. The Vs is equal to, okay, let's work that out. So in the numerator we have 1.04 times 338 minus 338. That's everything in the numerator and it simplifies to 13.52. Now that's actually 4% of 3.3 uh, 338. Okay, and that must be divided by 1.04 and that gives me 13. The velocity of the source is 13 and we're working with meters per second and what is this is it in the direction of uh, the listener or away from the listener okay we see that the listener is hearing more frequency uh, a percentage so it must be in the direction of the listener in the direction or towards the listener towards